Ni hao. All right, we are in Arab Street. I was told by a bunch of subscribers to come here, so let's check it out. Let's see what's what. Let's see what's going on here. I asked the guy exactly where to go. Hello. <laughs> Her man's like, nope. And she's like, yep. That and Broke's got it. Yeah, so we are in amazing Singapore. The adventure has been quite the adventure. We are going all over the town, all over the city, vlogging everything. I've been having the time of my life here. I absolutely love Singapore. Yes, it's expensive, but it's on par with what America is right now. So no shell shock for me. Oh, wow, I can see a lot of people up here. Holy shnikes. So people were right. Chat requested it on the live stream and comments requested it. So we give the people to what they want. Man, people in the mask, though. It drives me insane. Maybe we'll get some roti. She was hot. Hot chicks everywhere. There is no loss of hotties. Oh, there's a lot of people coming up in this section here. This is intense. This is like boys ain't intense. We're gonna film the red light district tomorrow, so don't worry, you'll see it. We'll see how it looks. And supposedly a lot of Vietnamese girls work there, so I'll work my Zhao Ka Kwe Kao Kwa Magic on them. We'll see how it goes. I hear the music, I see the vibe. I say yes, yes, brandy, brandy. Jeboki. <laughs> oh, this place is pretty popular. It's black sheep place, but hotties everywhere over here. Oh yeah, holy shit. This is Bar City over here. I mean, look at this place over here, hopping. Highly recommend you guys check out this area. I mean, there is a hottie every five feet. Unless you have the worst game in the world, this is a pretty pick up, pick up a bowl place, man. Look, there's a whole table of girls, man. They're everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> so I mean, the place is packed. Let's keep going. Let's keep walking down the street. There's single hot chicks everywhere. This is insane! Shout out to the subscribers that recommended coming here. You guys were not wrong. I don't know what, where we are. I can see a bunch of stuff down here. A bunch of hot white chicks over here. This is uh, kind of awesome. We got the low light camera doing its thing. Wow. There's mad pizza. Oh, it looks pretty good. It's like a Detroit style pizza. Hey, what you need is a 360 camera. I have one. Yeah, yeah. Which one? I have the Insta, I have the Insta 360 RS Twin. The one you How can switch. You bring it? I don't like it that much, man. The the problem with the 360, to be honest with you, the is, is it's the quality. It supposedly shoots in 4K. It looks like it's at like 720p. Well, it's it's okay. This wide. It has its place. So when you, when you zoom in, it's like, you know, so I, 1080p. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, and I use it on my motorcycle more than anything. I got okay. like a big stick out back. And then, so, so, so then I, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. It works a bit better for that, like shooting and vlogging though. Like, this is real 4K. Yeah, it's a way better camera. So like, the 360 has its place. Like, I could use the 360 maybe for like a minute walking down. Right. And then snip all this content in, but then that's a shit ton of editing. And then on top of it, Insta360 software sucks for like editing in their studio. Pain in the ass. Then you gotta export it out of there, then you gotta bring it into Adobe. Like, it, it's a lot of extra work. All the quality is like. And then the quality, once you see this and go to that, people are like, oh my god. They're like, stay on this one, dude. Be <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Have a good night. 
Maybe we'll bust out the 360 and do a couple videos with it. I mean, like I was explaining to him, it's exactly like that. The, the quality of that thing is just not there. You know, it supposedly shoots even 6K. Even the 6K footage looks like 720p. Oh, a couple of hotties over here. Let's go, baby. Wow, this street is just hopping. Completely hopping. There is so many hotties. Yeah, I'm married, but no, I'm not gay. And no, I don't just look at the ground when I walk by. I notice shit and I look at it. Come on now. No white knights on this shit. Get up out of here! I lay my head next down to my wife every night, so. Try some more somewhere else. Although they got a Mexican restaurant over here. This place is hopping. Like, insanely hopping. I saw a bunch of people over this way, too. So let's go check it out. Awesome. So I'm gonna try to show you in this video, like all the nightlife spots. We're gonna hang out here a little bit. Then we're gonna go over to Clark Keys, and then we're gonna go over to Boat Keys, and we're gonna vlog it all. And then tomorrow we're gonna do like the red light area, like the B-Texaco bar scene here, essentially. Have you, have you. The food all smells amazing. What's up, dude? Is this where I saw all the other people? I think it was down here. Hold on. Editing as we go. All right. We are in the other section of the Arab area, the Arab street, Indian area. Don't know how culturally correct it is, but that is the name of the street. It is pretty bussing and pumping over here, too. Absolutely a phenomenal area. It's a top G area. So let's do a top D walk and check her out. Instead of wasting your time and trying to find this area, what we did is we cut. That's called editing as you film. And I use this technique almost exclusively when I make videos. Instead of editing on the computer, which takes a lot more time, it's easier to just edit as you film. And this is a process that I've gotten very good at over the past years. It's funny when people like me like, oh, he's lazy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, he doesn't edit, yada, yada, yada. Well, I edit when I film. So it cuts out a lot of my editing time on the computer though. That's how I'm able to edit a video sometimes in five, five minutes, 15. Some videos take longer. The water park was like a three hour edit. It all depends on what it is. The video, the first one here in Chinatown took an hour and a half to edit. All depends on what it is. And I try not to waste dialogue and waste time and have long pausing moments, which isn't a particularly easy thing to do, but once you do this for a long length of time, you get better and better and better at it. So after this street, we're gonna go to, like I said, Clark Keys. <laughs> Lots of tourists in this area. This is a, a hot spot for turistos. Lots of good restaurants around here. Everybody's eating or drinking coffee. Not a big coffee at night guy, but if that's your cup of tea. Sweet dreams are made of cream. As you can see, it's just people and people everywhere. I'm kind of curious like what's on these menus here. Pasta? What? Pasta. Ragu. Raguts. Mampote. It's all right. Baklava. Got hummus for thirteen dollars. Cha ay. Tzatziki. I don't know. Are we in a Greek restaurant or an Indian restaurant? Oh, Lebanese. Official Lebanese. That makes more sense. Now it all makes sense. Pizza. Okay. Well, don't think I'd be getting a pizza here, but that's a self-made choice that you can make. So let's get back over to... What's up, dude? Let's get back over to the Arab Street. Let's see. 
I want to talk to this guy. See how long he's worked here. What's up, man? Hello. How long have you worked here for? This one, Hummus Tandoor, Turkish and Lebanese restaurant. How long have you worked here for? How, how long? Yeah. How long? How long? One. How long have, yeah, how long have you, is this your shop? Over this it's one? Like, yeah. Uh, five years, maybe. Five years? Yeah. Five years. No. Longer? Maybe seven. Seven years. Seven years. And, and you own this spot? This yes. is your spot? Yes. Do, Look and, nice. Looks great. So what kind of food do you specialize in? Okay, so he's showing me right now. Kofta. Yeah. So is this is Turkish and Lebanese food? Yeah. So are you? <laughs> You're very happy with the camels. <laughs> so are you from? Are you Lebanese or are you Turkish? You're both. Turkish and Lebanese. You're mixed with both. Yes. Okay. You want? <laughs> Not right now. I already ate. I'm, I'm filming. I'm walking okay. around. But I want to send. I want to. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I want to send people your guys' okay, way. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you my channel. The food here looks really good. Uh, no, no, no. Just filming a video. Give me some after YouTube. I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's your best dish here? Like, if somebody comes here to eat. This is mixed grill. This one. Mixed grill has beef. So this lamb, one. Yeah. This so one. it's got all of it yeah, in there. Beef, lamb, chicken, chistaukoso chicken. Gotcha, gotcha. And does it come with sauces and stuff? Yeah, sauce, all sauce, garlic sauce, chili sauce, tomato sauce. Perfect. Here, I'll put my YouTube channel in for you. It's fat and broke. I'm fat and I got no money. Oh, that's me right there. <laughs> You'll be on tomorrow's video. Okay. So I'll, I'll come back later when I'm done filming. And Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So come have some food here at Hummus and Tandoor 23 off of Arab Street. Very popular area. The guys here are very nice. He's been here seven years. He must be doing something right if he's been here for seven years. All right, thanks, brother. Have a good night. It's much more easy to approach people and talk here. It's, uh, you know... We're definitely going to see me way out of Vietnam a lot more because I can actually talk to people here because I don't know Vietnamese and I'm probably never going to learn Vietnamese to the grin of a bunch of people, but hey, is what it is. I know English, so if there's somebody that knows English, I'll interview them. I got no problems going in, as you just saw demonstrated. And there are hotties everywhere. All different size, shapes, colors, ethnicities. We got them all. We're covering them all. Whatever you're looking for, they've got it. Oh, Mitsubishi. Not an Evo. I haven't seen any Evos yet, though. It's a wannabe Evo. They've got an Evo hood. They've got gauges, but this is not an Evo. Probably a rally art. Non turbo. It's definitely non turbo. Evo 10 wannabe. So I'm going to find somewhere here to drink. We're going to get a drink. Then we're going to move locations. Drum and bass? Yes. Oh, this is awesome, man. This place is a hopping little spot. I tell you what. Pictures are getting taken everywhere. I kind of want to sit somewhere outside. <laughs> so this is like the beginning of the sheet at, at this Black Sheep and Company. So if you want to get here, take go, come to Black Sheep and Company. This is where it starts. Hello. This is where it starts. And then you can start walking like this way. It's a little street, but there's a lot of stuff going on here. Are you a YouTuber? I am a YouTuber. Are you a YouTuber? No, you look like a YouTuber. <laughs> what gave it away? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I think this is where we're gonna get a drink. So we're gonna get a drink, we'll flip the camera back on. Hello. Where are you guys from? Singapore? Uh, yeah. Native from India, but we have... Originally from India? Yeah. How long have you guys lived in Singapore for? Uh, for four years. Less than a year. So yeah. she's a newbie. Yeah, a newbie, yeah. You, four years. Four years yeah. And you? Four, 
He's the veteran. He's yeah. the one that's been here the longest. Yeah, long so how many girlfriends do you got, man? Good we? question. Yeah, he has tons of that. She's very pretty. Is she just your guys' friend? Yeah. Oh, the, you two are dating. Yeah, you guys are dating. Nice one. <laughs> nice one, big dog. What about you? Where are you from? Yeah. Uh, I live in Vietnam. I've lived in Vietnam, Vietnam. for the past three Last years. Last month we went to Vietnam, actually. Vietnam. How did you like it? Uh, it's good. Yeah. He's Where did you go? Sapa. Uh, Sapa's awesome. Sapa. I love we Sapa. Sapa's amazing. Fancy fun. We went to the yeah, peak. I went to the top too, man. Really? You yeah. Trek? We we trekked trekked all the way you did the trek. I did yes. not do the trek. Look at me. I, I'm not going to make the trek. <laughs> I mean, we didn't trek either. It's just we just pushed ourselves. That I didn't time. have. I was with my wife. She didn't ah, want to go trek yes. up the thing, so we took the cable car. Uh, yeah, yeah, we came back in cable yeah. car. We went all the way. We just let me tell you, smart choice. They did the trek and then they were in the bed for the next three days. She speaks the truth. She rats you out, man. I was just not feeling well. Come on. Did you did you take like a Sherpa, a local Vietnamese guy, up up with you, or did you guys? do it by yourself? Uh, no, we actually had two guides. Two guides. We were yeah. responsible for our food and for clothing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was a good trek, but what actually we felt bad was like, uh, we took like, I don't know, how many hours we took to trek? Around... Uh, you took too hours, much shit with you, hours. huh? Yeah, we Too many KGs of shit. Yeah, and then we <laughs> took only like literally 15 to 20 minutes to come back, you know, we felt bad, so bad, come on. We trekked so hard and it was just like... How bad. much, how much did you pay the guys to take you up there? Uh, it was a package. Yeah, yeah it, it was 200 Singapore dollars. Yeah. What? million dong roughly. Yeah, I'm converting to Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so where, where you, you are from originally from I Vietnam? live in Saigon. Okay. Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Fantastic also, place. We also went for Hai Long Bay. Hai Long Bay? A little boring. <laughs> Once you're on the boat and you see the bay, that's it. There, there's not much more there. I think uh Sapa's way better. Yeah. More yeah. stuff to do in Sapa. And yeah. it's so beautiful, like when you get up there and you're like looking at all the rice paddy fields and stuff, it's pretty yeah. epic. The cable car, we can yeah. see this. It's amazing. The it's cruise amazing. was actually good. The yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's really good. good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> That's all. It's there. How is Ho Chi Minh City next? Next, we yeah. should plan over there. We might go there next. Week. Ho Chi Minh City is amazing. It's its own separate animal outside of everything else. You can't compare it to anything so this else. So south of Vietnam, right? North Vietnam is south. It's Vietnam south. It's south. So it's always like. 30 degrees Celsius, sunny, <laughs> hot as shit, really? sweaty, like so always. How different is it from Vietnam to here, like the temperature and stuff? It's way better here, but I think we're in good weather here right now. Right. It's usually hotter here, right? Like yeah, we're in a bit of a cool. Yeah, it's humid and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually, this is way better for me. Like this, I, this might as well be like negative 20 degrees more than what it is in Vietnam for me. Because I walk around and I, I work all day, so like I usually walk like. Uh, 12, 14 kilometers a day. Okay, so, why the camera? Huh? Why the what, camera? Making a vlog? Why the camera? Vlog? I'm making a vlog. Yeah. You're going to be on YouTube. Really? <laughs> can we follow you? Can we follow you? Yeah. Yeah, you can follow YouTube me. Channel? I'll give you my channel. Yeah, what's that? Okay, so that's the interview with the homies here. I'm going to turn off. I will be back once I get a drink and figure out sure. where I'm going to go. Bye. Singapore is amazing. Everything just makes sense here. Walking, overpasses, underpasses. It's just so well designed and so thought out for public transportation. It's absolutely insane. We're gonna do one of these boat cruises, I think on Sunday night. Maybe we'll do one with router gods. I'm not sure what he wants to do. We'll see, we'll check it out. But absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal city. So let's take you under this underpass lock here. Show you what it looks like. Beautiful women everywhere. So we're about five minutes away from Clark. And then we'll head over to boat after Clark. Pretty cool, like to see the family out biking at 10.30. No smoking sign, but you'll see many people smoking. That is, this is the way. I mean, look how cool this is, guys. You just don't find stuff like this in Saigon. If Saigon really wants to be the next thing for, like their governments talk about there, they need to aggressively step up their game, to put it nicely. So the Indian group of people were amazing. Shout out to you guys watching. It was super nice to meet all of you. I sat down, I had a beer and talked with them for about 45 minutes. It was fun. 
super nice, super intelligent, had lots of information to offer me. They're gonna give me a list of places for some project that's happening in the future. Oh, this is just gorgeous, man. So we're over here in Riverside, coming up quick. I think this is where we were yesterday, right? This looks familiar. Oh yeah, you betcha. Oh yeah, this looks about right, yep. Keen to check this out. Keen to show you guys in 4K. Keen to show you all the cool shit to do. Oh, they got one of those slingshot things here. I always go for my runs at 10.30. Always. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those slingshot things. This must have been popular pre... pre Covey. Covey, Covey. Clark Quay Central. Clark Key Central. Pardon my French. So let's check out what this place has to offer. I thought this is where we were yesterday. It's all so familiar. This looks like probably a mall. There's like 7,000 malls around here. Fantastic. I mean, this is my low light camera, but we're in some tremendously low, low lights right now. Oh, this mall looks awesome. So we're going to do a bunch of mall videos. Probably going to do them all in one day. I think Sunday or Monday. Clark. Key. Wine. Too cute. Just give a smile to the fats and broke. Nope, we weren't here yesterday. Oh, I could have took the boat here. Tremendous. I definitely got to pee. So let's do that real quick. I'll be back. We're back. Hotties. You can just hear the ambiance everywhere here. Holy shit. This place is popular. Let's check it out. All oh, these shirts are cool. If I wore t shirts, I would get one. But I don't wear t shirts. Beer towers, music pumping. That place is cranking. So many, so many women. <laughs> oh, snipey, this place is awesome. I think this is a little cooler than uh, Boat Fly, Boat Key. Peddler's Law. Wow. This is no joke, man. Yep. Comprehensive nightlife guide from Fat and Broke. In Singapore. You betcha. It just goes everywhere. Drinking an anchor. It's the beer of choice in Cambodia. Kamai beer. Ah, uh, dude, look at this. So many people. Holy shit. Wow. Got the Tiger Tower. Woo! Woo! Oh, this chick's hot. She got some pans on. Whoa. 
This is amazing. Sensory overload. Singapore knows how to party. Let me tell you. Oh, another cover band. Let's see what's down here by this Izikaya. Yakitori. Meat on a stick. Traditional pub food eatery from Japan. I'm pretty sure these like. Okay, so you gotta go to a smoking area here. Is there a fucking club up there? Oh yeah, there is. Epicness. Epicness. Yeah. Alright, so there is more areas to the Clark Keys. You go over the bridge, there's more shit. But we're just gonna check out this main section. We're gonna finish up here. Then we're gonna go over to Boat Keys and check that out. Soju is very popular here, which is good to see. There is single ladies all about it. Jolly. Yeah, I've said that a hundred times. Whoops. I don't know if we'll get a drink around here. You can't crank hoons like you can in uh, boat keys. I kind of prefer my boat key. Oh, Puto. Very, very. Aputo probably has the most ramen restaurants around the world, as far as I know. They're in so many countries. And it's actually a good ramen. It, it, there's nothing wrong with it. I've never reviewed the Aputo in Japantown, but I will. I'll get around to it. This place. People waiting to get into a club. Fat and broke doesn't do that. He especially doesn't pay to go inside of a club. Hell no. Re-entry queue. Nope, not doing that shit either. We gotta go find rich dudes like last night's stream that'll feed us whiskey for free. All right, that's Clark Keys. I'll see you guys in. I am. I think I've seen you. I'm a Vietnam vlogger usually. Yeah, I think I've seen you. You probably have. Oh, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, buddy. Is there a buddy? Yeah, I'm shooting a video right now. No worries, though. Absolutely okay there. Yeah, I think I've seen you. Fat and broke? Uh, I don't know which country I was randomly surfing. Probably me. I, I make like two videos a day in Vietnam. Yeah. I'm like a prolific Vietnam vlogger. So. I've seen all Pukalang. Oh, yeah. Penang, Penang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, brother. Have a good night. Okay, what are you doing? So, is this a good place to drink? I, I, I was at Boat Keys last night. That seemed a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it's a good place to drink. It's the only place because of the parties and all. Yeah, it's the only place in Singapore. So, Clark Keys and Boat Keys are the two places to drink. Yeah. And there are many places, but this place is the most happy to you. So like where's the main area of this? Is it down over? No, the main area. This, yeah, this is the main area. Yeah, the street, there are many bars and clubs up like clubs. Clubs, and right, right, right. Yeah. And then like boat keys is more like smoke cigarettes and drink on like a table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Alright. Okay, All right. Shout out man, nice to meet you. Thank you, brother. Bye. Have a good night. All right, so I'll see you guys at, at uh, Boat Keys. All right, we're, we're in Boat Keys now. This shit is fucking crazy. This bar is fucking crank. Yeah, get out of here.
it out in the 30 second time limit. Absolutely fucking ranking. <laughs> Having a double Jameson and soda. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good, good. Are you guys all from Singapore? Yeah, I'm close. I will get <laughs> Singapore and Singapore and Singapore and Singapore. Uh, Malaysia, Malaysia. Huh? Malaysia. Where? Malaysia. Oh, Malaysia. Yeah, okay, yeah. Malaysia. So you're a Malaysian, you guys are Singaporean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Identify is different, right? Yeah, like Malaysia is Malaysia, Singapore and yeah. Singapore. Where are you from? Where am I from? I live in Vietnam, but I'm from California. I lived in Vietnam for the past three years. So what is this intention of the vlogging? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm a YouTuber. Oh, you're a YouTuber? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So I'm filming like the nightlife of Singapore right now. I started off in Arab Street. And then I went to uh, Clark Keys, and now I'm in Boat Keys. Does that mean that our face will be there? What do you mean? The video? <laughs> yeah, you're in the video, dude. Please say no. You may, you're going to be famous. My one million subscribers are going to wow, see you. Wow, one million. Wow. All the best, all the best. Nice, nice. All the best. Send you guys from Malaysia. So is this the best place to drink in Singapore? Not actually. You got money, you go in beer. Yes, you got money, you go in beer. It's expensive, but this is like where everybody yeah, goes. Yeah, like yeah. all the fucking cool people come to this area. Right? All right. See? I knew it. I told you guys. This is the area to come to. What do we got here? All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right. So this bar here, Skinny's Lounge, is the expat hangout. This place has got it going on. It is absolutely fucking cranking inside. Let's go walk around the rest of this bitch, wrap this sucker up, and go live. Absolutely having the time of my life in Singapore right now. Freaking amazing. So again, we're on Boat Bo Kwai. It's, it, it's spelled, but it's Boat Ki. This is the place to come drink, eat, have food. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh, my feet are tired. How many steps we go today? 21,000 so far. We are clicking... I don't know, what is that, eight miles? More? I have no idea. We walk in, the dogs are barking, meaning my feet hurt. But it's good, man. That place is just cranking down there. I'll show you where I like to go here, and then we're gonna go live. Oh, you smell all the good food. This place goes till like 3 a.m., I was told, on the weekend. So we'll see if that's really true or not. I mean, you meet people from all over the world here. I was just, as you saw, I was just talking to the uh, Singaporeans with the one Malaysian guy. We got some smoke shows over here. Definitely, if you're a single dude, get your ass out to Singapore. Do not play around. Wear some fucking dress to impress shit. Throw your A game out and succeed. Top G style. What's up, bro? All my top G's will do well out here. Especially if you got top G money. What in the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Let's go play out. Top G. <laughs> He's gonna forever be top sheet on the internet. <laughs> so good. Oh man. Who said Singapore isn't crazy fun? Woo! Maybe we'll get the homeboy router gods to come out and play tomorrow night. We'll see. So this area looks a little dead, right? Wait until we get to the spot. You're going to be like, what? What you talking about, Willis? <sighs> Are you a vlogger? How'd you figure that out? <laughs> Did you figure it out by the camera? What type of Sony is that? 
It's a ZV-1, it's a vlogging camera. That's the one I wanted, but so, it's like 800. Yeah, but you gotta get a bunch of extra shit with it. It doesn't yeah, work out of the box. Exactly. You gotta get the wide angle lens. Exactly, I don't have the money for And then that. you gotta get a microphone that goes dual yeah. direction, unless you're gonna be like, well, so you're a girl, a you're a girl, so you can like do the vlogging for it all the time, but I'm not like that hot. So I've gotta show people like what I'm looking at. Is it like a Singapore like vlog trip? Yeah, I'm doing uh, night spots tonight. So I'm from Vietnam. I've lived in Vietnam for three uh -huh. years. So uh -huh. I've been like a Vietnam vlogger because yeah. of COVID. What's your YouTube channel? Fat and broke. Fat and broke. I'm fat I and I'm broke. It. No money. I love it. <laughs> Are you from Singapore? No, we're all from America. Yeah, you sound American. Yeah, and then you sound like a Valley Girl almost. Right. Are you from LA? <laughs> Where are you from in America? I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Chao. Oh, where are you from? I'm from LA. Uh, okay. But I've lived in Vietnam, Vietnam for like three years. So do you like Vietnam or Singapore more? Shit. Singapore safer, right? <sighs> and it's like more modern. Man. Have you been to Saigon? I've not been to any part of Vietnam. Okay. Because I heard it's really dangerous for women. No, not at all. Totally safe. You'll be totally fine. Where are you guys going tonight? We're about to. He really wants to try it this place. He said this, the vibes are immaculate. This is the spot to drink. Okay. This okay. is where I'm going to live stream in like two um, minutes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely a great camera. It would work really well for you. I wish I had the money. For it. You're cute and you got a good voice. Which one do you have? 10? What do you got? Yeah, let's see what you got. Let's see your vlog setup. This. <laughs> she literally got but it. Has, it has a. <laughs> look, look, you can see yourself. It's all you need. Oh, it might be. She bad. got a Hero 10. Yes. It's a good uh, camera. It's not bad. I think it might be dead. It's probably dead. Wait. So, when you're a vlogger, you gotta have like five batteries with you. Yeah, but I just don't have the money for that. <laughs> How long have you guys been in Singapore for? Um, I'm actually on exchange here, so we'll be here for four months. On exchange? So, yeah. you're on an exchange summer? We just got here. We'll be here until oh, I, oh don't um, lose your group. December. Yeah, this yeah. is the best place to drink right up here. Really? On the right. There's also a bar. Right? There's a bunch going right. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bunch going right. Where are you headed? Just walking. Just this is what you live for. So if you're a YouTuber, you try to get interactions like right. this. This is the, what makes the best vlogs. What's up, dude? I'll be back soon. We're gonna do soju and beer again. I'm gonna finish my vlog though. Smoker. Yes. Hello, smoker. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm a, I'm not a vlogger, but can I be in the video? You're you're in the video now, man. <laughs> Who do you vlog for? Or you're just you're your own vlogger. Uh, I'm my own vlogger. My channel name's Fat and Broke. Fat and Broke. Fat and Broke. I live in Vietnam, but I'm here right now. Are you guys all living in Singapore? Yeah, man. Yeah, How long yeah, have you guys lived here for? Almost five years. Eight five years, years here? Eight years. Eight years here. Yeah. You don't have to five answer. Years. Five years. You? Four years. Four years. Okay. And you're a newbie. Visiting. You're just visiting. Okay. And these are your mates? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you live in Vietnam? Vietnam. Saigon. For the last three years. Married to a Saigonese woman. Wonderful woman. Yeah. Is that the lady that he was just harassing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> hey, props for you, if it was. <laughs> oh, it is. My wife's great, man. She's the greatest. She wants me to be a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Have okay, a good cheers. Night. Have a good one. I'll come back. I'm going to come back and drink. This is my spot where I come drink. So. We'll get some beers. <laughs> keep an eye on this guy, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm Paul, too, brother. It's all good. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. Nice for talking. Where are you guys going now? I thought you were going this way. This is the spot to drink, I'm telling you, right here. Okay, let's keep her moving. We don't want to do what we did yesterday. We want to go to the Saigon place, but, but let's take a walk down this street. There's like a lady bar right here. Where I got accosted on my live stream. <clears throat>
Oh, this this part isn't as busy as last night. This shit was overflowing last night on the live stream. This is the place to drink, at hands down. This is your area. If you're like a Boy Vien guy like me, and you want a crazy little party area, and you want to crank coons and cigarettes as much as you want, this is the area you want to be at. The Clark uh, Key wasn't as friendly to smoking. That looks like a lady boy. I could be wrong. She's pretty tall though, and got some pretty squared out shoulders. Could be wrong. Not hating, just saying. Just stating the facts from what I'm seeing. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, got a Porsche over here. This is where I drank yesterday, over here on the table with the guys over here. They were super nice. Yep, I was right. Lady boy. Fat and brokes. He knows it all. Not really, I don't know shit. Oh. I am fucking tired. I need to put this camera down. Take a break and then start my live stream. <laughs> Cover in her face? Joey. There's so many people vaping here, even though vaping's illegal. It's literally everywhere. All right, so we're gonna find, try to find the Saigon bar and then start from there. So give me a second, we'll be back. All right, let's wrap this vlog up. Nightlife, the best spot to be in Singapore, according to Fat and Broke, who's literally an expert in every single thing in the world. He's up. Not really, is Boat Keys. This is the place to come to. If you wanna meet beautiful women, nice people, just hang out in general. Boat Key is the place for you. Come here, come drink here, have a good time, be a good boy. Hello. 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 <laughs> Where are you guys from? Yes, Japan. 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 Oh, oh. Komawa. Watashi wa Chris kun. Oh, it's okay. That's that's them. Yeah. Fist bump. Okay, fist bump and handshake. Okay. Jamate ne. Jane. Everybody's super friendly here, as demonstrated. What's up, dude? How are you, my man? How was the volleyball yesterday? Better than yesterday. <laughs> so, I mean, you just come to this area and you walk around it. So, that's gonna be it. I'm done. I'm fucking wrecked, tired. No joke, I've filmed all day long. It's been intense. I filmed five hours worth of content, so we'll see what makes it to the cutting floor. Got this guy in his Mercedes, he's got places to go. In his CLA 180. That's a broke man's Mercedes. That is not a rich man's Mercedes. That's the cheapest Mercedes you can probably get. <laughs> All right, guys, stay frosty. See you on the next one. See you in Singapore. Then we'll see you somewhere else. Peace out. Thanks for watching.